to my channel. My name is Tina and okay, I'm always excited to do videos and I'm always excited to bring you new products and today's no different than that. As you can see, I have on zero makeup and that is because I have several new products that I haven't shown you yet from Tarte and one of them is this base tape. This is part of their Shape Tape line. It looks like this. It's very different packaging than I normally see from Tarte. It's plastic, it reminds me more of their uh, sugar whatever line that I don't hardly ever buy. But it is a primer. I have not tried any of the balms, but it sort of reminds me of the one that everybody keeps talking about. It's super mushy. I just put this in it, brought up way more than I would ever need. Let's see what this looks like. I have on moisturizer, sunscreen, and oil control primer spray from Scandinavia, and then just my regular skin routine. Now I am really pushing it into my pores in the areas that I have bigger pores, um, which for me is right here around the eyes, around my nose. I think that one's pretty much for everybody. You have larger sweat glands around your nose, Everybody does. I have a scar here on my forehead and I'm gonna fill that in and see if that works. Most things just come right out of it. It isn't like a puncture wound or something. And it's not really all that deep. When you try to push product in it, it just comes right back out. And of course, we'll try to fill in any fine lines on my forehead. I'm gonna go around my eyes and then just wipe the excess like all over my face. I don't know exactly what this helps with. It doesn't tell you anything about it. It just says pore and primer balm. And on the back, it gives you the definition of primer. Because those other items were such a hit from e.l.f. and from Tatcha, I think, I thought I would give this a shot. I'm just gonna show you a sped up version of what I normally do for my face to put everything on because we have some other products I'm really excited to show you. Now I'm gonna do my brows with the Busy Gal Brows. This was on sale, I think it still is on sale at Ulta. I have not tried it, and now I'm a little afraid I got the wrong color. Okay, I actually really love this color for my brows, not too light at all. On this side where my brow is a bit thicker, it did a great job. On this side where I have some serious patchiness going on, uh, it really can't compete with that. So I am going to grab Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm going to fill in those areas where there's no hair for it to really, like, it just doesn't have enough stuff to grab onto. And then I'm going to take that little tiny spoolie and where I got this at. I love this spoolie so much. Brows are sisters, not twins, <laughs> I guess. It's funny because there's things on this brow I wish this brow would do and this brow shape I wish I could do on this side. We checked out the Busy Gal brow, which seems really good. I'm really happy with the shade. So this is the Tartist Pro Glow Kit. Uh, it is volume three and I had volume one. It had a cream contour down here that I loved. They've taken that out because that is the thing that went bad on my old one. We're gonna use this today and isn't that pretty? I'm gonna swatch it for you. There are the two blush shades, and these are the two highlights. There's two contour shades. One is slightly shimmery. This one I will never be able to use. It's way too orange. So we're gonna play with that today. The last item that I'm going to show you, this is the Tarte High Tides and Good Vibes palette. It is so pretty, and it reminds me so much of when my kids were little, which is going to get me to do something I swore I would never do on my YouTube channel. So I managed to get this all dirty already. It says, hashtag see the change. That's all about cleaning up the ocean and saving the turtles and all the other marine life out there, which is so important. I grew up on the ocean 
and what is going on there it's just terrible with all the pollution and the garbage patch and just everything see the change absolutely a huge fan of that first of all that cool little ocean thing going on there my kids had toys that did that and then when my kids were little my husband would make up songs and one of them was called the Purple Turtle Song. We are going to go in and swatch this. And I'm just going to do it by quadrant because, as you can see, like it, it doesn't really have rows. So we're going to do the neutral side. Berry Gold, Aloha Beaches, Beach Therapy, Galapagos. Then we have Turtle Et, Aquatic, Champagne Beach and beach days and those are not going to swatch great they're meant to be packed on like this so as you can see it goes on much better when you do that this aqua shade gorgeous and so then we're going to do these blues and the pink the pink is south beach the light blue is surfed up dyed in is a really pretty navy blue and then there's a gorgeous deep blue sh shimmer it's called Dive In. Holy crap, how beautiful is that? I just managed to put my nail in the Galapagos shade. That's sad. I'm going to take this beautiful baby blue and just start working with it. I'm going to try to use that as my transition shade. And now I'm going to grab a clean brush and I'm just going to blend the top of it. That is such a pretty shade. So the other day I did a look with this and I hated the way that several things I did turned out. It just, I messed up. It was me, not the palette. I just tossed that whole entire footage. I did keep a couple pictures. I will put one up there. The look was all right, but I knew that I could have done a better job if I had understood what I was working with a little better. So that is why first impressions sort of suck. These shadows though stay on gorgeously. Like I had it on for 12 hours straight, no problem at all. First I'm gonna take this dive in on a blending brush and I'm just gonna do the crease and outer corner. And that shade is so intense. This is a huge diffusing brush and I'm just tapping in a tiny bit. And then I'm blending again. It looks like I've gotten some of the glitter in it, which is a risk. If you keep the plastic on it or a piece of plastic on it, that won't happen. So I did try this the other day without using any glitter glue and in the evening and it worked just fine. But since I'm going to be going out today, there's no way this is going to last 12 hours with no glitter glue. This is the Too Faced Glitter Glue. This stuff is amazing. NYX also has one just as amazing. Quite honestly, save your money and buy the NYX one. The first thing I'm going to take Dive In, but I'm going to bring that in for that glitter to sit on top of. It's not blending great because obviously I have that glitter glue down. I shouldn't have done that. This is where I screwed up the other day. That looks crazy, right? Yes. I'm taking some more glitter glue because I shouldn't have put that down first. And now I'm going to go over a whole lot of this blue with that glitter glue. Because this blue is going to look amazing on top of it. So we're just putting Aquaholic in the center over the top of that blue. So now I'm taking a tiny little brush and I'm picking up some more of this blue and I'm just going to blend up here and around a little bit. This is the Tarte Palette Icy Betch and it has this beautiful matte white and then this gorgeous white ice white highlight. I'm going to take a packing brush and I'm going to take that white and pack it on the inner corner. Now I'm going to take just a little bit more of this glitter glue, dab that onto my inner corners, and then taking a really, really small one packing brush, I'm just going to pack on that highlight, and then taking a clean brush, I'm just going to blend that into that blue, and I'm going to pick up this shade here, so I can bring these shades and sort of blend them because glitter doesn't blend very well. This is my Kiko eyeliner and I'm just doing my waterline with it. That is one of the best eyeliners 
for in that color I've ever tried. Let's go back into the High Tide and Good Vibes palette. I'm loving this deep blue. So I'm just gonna take a small brush and bring this around here. Take that on my to my from my outer corner in. And then I'm gonna take a really tiny clean blending brush. So I have my chart lifted mascara. With this look, I definitely don't want any smudging. I'm going to do my eyeliner. I had planned on skipping eyeliner and just doing lashes. Apparently I used all my lash glue. This is the Pretty Vulgar eyeliner. So now for the Pro Glow face set. So I'm just bronzing my face with that bronzer shade. It is a little bit shimmery. And then for blush, I'm going to use this really pink color. I really enjoy pink and blue together. And I'm going to grab the Tarte Filtered Light Powder. This powder is so finely milled and setting everything in really, really good. You can do this over the top of your highlight even. It will give you just a really beautiful diffused look. So I'm going to take that pinky highlight. It's like the lightest shade in here. So this is a pink lip liner from Urban Decay. I've had this forever. It's starting to dry out. Most of their lip liners are much creamier than that one is. Now I'm going to take my lip gloss from Olimar. This is in Mother of Pearl. This is the Moonstone Halo Drops from Pacifica. I use these all the time. I love them. So I'm going to take just a tiny bit of glitter glue on the teeniest, tiniest brush I have. And then I'm going to put this on top of my tear duct. And then I'm going to grab Turtleette. And I'm just going to place a tiny bit. And that is so pretty. Setting spray. This is the Stay Spray. Let's talk about the products. So this is the Shape Tape Primer Balm. I currently do not like this. I'm looking at my foundation and it does not look like my foundation normally does. It is sitting on top of my skin funny and I don't like that at all. Uh, it makes me look slightly cakey. The Tardis Pro Glow Kit is beautiful. I'm loving the two blushes and the highlights. This bronzer is okay. This one over here I will never use. I do love the way that looks on my skin. Then let's talk about this palette. The, good, the High Tide Good Vibes. Purple turtles all over the place. I have a terrible voice. My kids have a terrible voice. We do not sing. But my husband is awesome at making up songs and he like does these. He made up for my kids along with several others. We have an alligator song. Alligator, alligator got the bunch shows. Alligator, alligator, don't you know? So when this palette came out, I had to have it. And they always were showing a purple turtle on there, but there is no purple turtle on this packaging, sadly. That made me a little bit sad. <laughs> Let's talk about the product itself because we know that this packaging is, oh my God, amazing. Not all of them blend as well as you'd think. And then some of them blend better than you would ever think they ought to. This deep blue shade, oh my God, blends beautifully. As does Dive In, blends gorgeously. So does this pink over here. What I don't like is if you try to use this shade here, the beach shade underneath the blues, it does not look pretty. You almost have to use this side of the palette or this side of the palette and not mix the two. Unless you do a cut crease or something, they just don't blend well together and they turn really muddy looking. I did find that I really enjoyed working with these. I do enjoy these glitters a lot. You do have to use glitter glue or at least wet your brush with some setting spray because if you don't, those are not gonna last very long and you're gonna end up with glitter all over your face like I did on accident. And when glitter like this falls down off your lid, it gathers here and it looks awful. If you use these, use a glitter glue. It's a gorgeous palette. It's got a ton of looks in here because it does have those two different sides. I uh, have not had any trouble blending them at all. Yesterday, it was a 12 hour day and I was canning and everything. At the end of the day, it looked almost identical. There was a little bit of creasing in this chunky glitter. I don't care how good it is. It's going to crease. You're not going to stop that from happening. It doesn't look awful if you're looking straight at it, but like if you get up close to it, it's not pretty. But I found that to be true with 
any of this type of glitter. It is a learning curve to learn how to work with it. I love the fact that my husband made up that song and this reminds me, like I said, so much of my kid's childhood, like everything about it. Just the turtles, this thing reminds me of one of the toys that they had. The nostalgia of it really sucked me in. And I love that you can't base the whole thing on packaging. I'm glad that it does work well. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!